Hawaii coach Todd Graham resigned on Friday night, late on Friday night, and you want to talk about a, a crazy, crazy story, and we've talked about this before. SFGate.com, San Francisco Gate, uh, put out a story, which is weird that, that San Francisco, like a, a news organization from San Francisco would be reporting on Hawaii athletics, but they got all the details from the players and they were complaining about Todd Graham just telling them outright, hey, I am using this job as a stepping stone. You are not going to screw this up for me. Uh, we are. I'm, I'm using this to prep to move to the NFL. And he, all the players basically said that this guy is a piece of trash. He has taken all of the joy away from this game for me. There were seven starters that decided to transfer after the season, and it just continued on and on and on. And Hawaii basically uh, let it be known that, yeah, we understand it sucks, but, like, we're not in the financial position to get rid of him, so, like, we're just going to ride this thing out. You guys can leave if you want to. And it just kept going and kept going, and more stories kept coming out, et cetera. And Todd Graham finally just decided to resign. I, I think... When you can't get anybody to play for you, it makes it really difficult to do your job. If you realize, oh, this turned on me in a very quick way. If I was going to use this as a stepping stone, um, that's not happening. Like there were all of these different things that that kind of led to this point. And I, obviously, I think it was a mutual separation. Um, yeah, I, th I think there's some negotiation that went on. There. Oh yeah, this because is, they, this is not Hawaii was just yeah. not going to pay him his full buyout to fire him. Uh, but no, it's not like he, a huge I buyout. You he didn't walk away with nothing either. Right, right. I, but I also don't think that he he got the full thing. I think this was really what was best for everybody. And now we start looking at, okay, now wh what works in Hawaii? They are going through stadium renovations right now. They're going through all The athletic department is a, a little bit of a mess because of all the COVID stuff. But, you know, they're not, it, It's it's not awful. Right, they they can figure something out, but you need somebody that understands the culture down there. And the the biggest list of names right now: June Jones, former Hawaii coach, currently out of coaching. Um, I mean, it, why would he step back in? Like it, this is so it's so weird that everybody. No, we're so we lack so much creativity in the people that cover college sports sometimes, and and, and that talk about it like. We don't know how to think about anything other than what we've already seen. Agreed. Like we work under the assumption that uh, Hawaii's always only had offensive coaches, so we know it's going to be an offensive. Coach. Okay, we can't think of anybody who wants to take it over. They're a complete mess. You know, let's 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 look back. Who's been coaches in the past who loved it there? We'll, we'll get them to come back. Like they <laughs> There's like 600 million people, you know, in the country. Like somebody can find a way to find somebody who wants this job, right? Like, well, it's so so part of it is, uh, remember, Hawaii, just like any other school, has boosters, has people that are uh, highly invested into the program, right? Yes. And they did not like going out of that uh, tree, right? They They had what they wanted. Now... Timmy Chang is the other one. He is uh, the wide receivers coach at Colorado State right now. Um, he was a record-setting quarterback at Hawaii. He He's only 40. He isn't really ready to be a head coach, maybe an offensive coordinator. However, if Timmy Chang is only going to come back to be the like the head coach, then they might be interested in that. Uh, there's the UCLA assistant head coach Brian Norwood. He's a former Hawaii player. Uh, Johnny Nansen, who is Arizona's defensive coordinator, uh, so we, grew up we in have Samoa. A Michigan, we have a Michigan problem all over again. Yes, one hundred percent. They only want Hawaii people. Yeah. If you're gonna if you're gonna limit your your coaching staff to that because you had a bad look, just don't don't hire an asshole. Like this is not that complicated. Well, I so think the it, other well, guy was not one of us. Agreed. And look how bad he was. So now we only can. We, you're not talking about Michigan. At least Michigan has a <laughs> huge net to cast out. <laughs> To get a lot of Michigan guys, right? Yeah. Like the pool of Hawaii dudes 
ain't real big. No, 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 no. It's certainly not. Uh, it, it's why would you do that? Who who yeah. runs a business this way? Who runs anything? Forget a business. Who runs anything that's ever been successful this way? Here's here's what it sounds like. It sounds like they want somebody to just come back in and reestablish the foundation, right? When Rolo left, they had a pretty good foundation built. Which, by the way, why not just bring Rolo back? I was just like, gonna <laughs> say, if you want to be uncreative and, and bring back somebody, just call Rolo. Yeah, I mean, it, because it worked last time. Like, I mean, what are we talking about? Nobody else wants uh, him, and if you are in dire straits, you can get him on the cheap. So oh, I, he no, this is that's a perfect marriage because you know he'd love it too. Oh yes, you know he'd love to come back. Yes, yes, absolutely. So that's I mean that would be my vote. Uh, but them trying to to go the old route, bring back the people that they know. Uh, you and I both have talked about this many many times. I don't necessarily agree with that. Hire but, good people. Hire smart people. Hire problem solvers. You don't have to just hire somebody because they used to be there. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.